I don't drink. But if I did, tonight I would be playing this sweet-ass presidential debate drinking game. First off, have a beer or two before the debate starts to drown the sorrow of these candidates being our choices. If during the debate, Biden says, look folks, take a sip. If Trump says, we're not going to have a country anymore, two sips. Chug an entire beer if Trump says that something is the biggest or greatest ever, or if he ends a sentence by saying, like you wouldn't believe. By this point, you'll probably be drunk, like you wouldn't believe. And if either candidate lies, you know what? Forget about that one. I don't want to be responsible for liver damage. If Biden loses his train of thought or slurs in a manner that makes it impossible to understand what he said, pop an Adderall. When either candidate mentions the border, have a shot of tequila. If Trump uses the term open borders, chug a Corona. If you're an illegal immigrant and you're watching this, you might want to open up a 12 pack of Tecate. Take a shot if any of the following happen. If Biden tries to make a joke about his age, but forgets the punchline. If Trump goes after the moderators. If Trump recites a story about people coming up to him on the campaign trail and telling him how great he is. Or if Biden does his creepy whisper thing, pound that motherfucker. Here are some long shots. If Trump makes his VP announcement during the debate, banana daiquiris all around. If Biden mentions a conversation he had with someone who was actually dead at the time, pour one out for that person. And then at the end of the debate, just go ahead and finish all of the liquor in your house because you're probably going to be extremely depressed. When you wake up on Friday morning on the bathroom floor, pretend the whole thing was just a terrible dream and never speak about it again. See? Watching two old weird guys jabber incoherently for 90 minutes can be fun! You just have to get really fucked up.